What's up guys? I'm the black one and um today is May 6th. It's a Sunday. And today I usually upload a Minecraft Let's Play video. But today we have a little bit change of plans. Um I'm actually moving this weekend. I have been and it's been a, a very tiring and long process. So I actually don't have time to do a Let's Play, just a normal Let's Play episode because it takes a little bit more time for my Minecraft episodes because I actually film for about an hour or two and then I'll uh, go ahead and edit it down to 15 minutes so it's nice and quick for you guys um, so instead I decided to uh, I'm just gonna do a very quick very beginner tutorial on redstone for those who don't get it and uh, I'm just gonna wing it here so if you, if you already know redstone feel free to skip this episode and I will I'll see you guys on Tuesday I promise with with new episode up and good to go. Okay, so um, redstone has two states. Okay, when it's not lit like this, it is off, and when it is lit or powered by um, some sort of source of power, I'm gonna turn my difficulty down. Oh, slimes everywhere. Um, the state of the wire turns to on now. As you can see, it actually gets a little bit darker in color, and the reason it does that is because um, redstone, a signal, will only last 15 blocks from the power source block, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay? So if you look at this wire, this wire is actually not fizzling like this other wire is. It's not doesn't have those nice little redstone particles around it, and that's because it's unpowered. Okay? But this this wire is powered. Let me demonstrate. Piston extends when it's powered, but if I have this one more, so 16 blocks, it does not extend. Okay? So this is this is the basis of redstone, and it actually the basis of the computer that you're watching this video on right now. Oh gasp. That's all binary code is. It's just it, your computer is reading. Um, I don't know the exact science of it, but I know the. I know that th that's what binary is. It's basically reading whether this part of a memory cell or something is on or off. That's why there are only zeros and ones. Zero is off and one is on. I believe. I could be wrong. Anywho, um, let's talk about the simple redstone powering uh, methods. You can use a button. Okay. I'll talk about how you can power redstone too later. Right now, let's just go for the mechanics. You can use a redstone torch, like you saw before. You can use a um, you can use a lever. You can use a pressure plate. Okay. Pressure plate. All right. Pretty simple. Um, those are all that come to mind right now. You can use a detector rail, which is also just another type of pressure plate. All right, and um, yeah, I'm not really seeing anything else. So people who don't understand redstone, who are do who don't get it, it's um, there are a couple things that are really important to understand, and the most important thing, in my opinion, or one of the best the first things that you should understand about redstone is how memory cells work. That's how people build these contraptions and stuff. Because a lot of the redstone, in my opinion, is based off of memory cells or the science of memory cells, okay? So this is a redstone memory cell. Now let me explain something to you. When a um, powered, when redstone wire is powered and it's running into a block, it charges this block, okay? This is considered a weak, or no, a strong connection. Um, I'll go over that in detail later as well. Um, this is a strong connection, and so when it's a strong connection of powered wire into a block, it will actually, um, it will, okay, so it'll power this block. So if I had redstone here, um, I guess I'm lying, huh? No, you know what, this is a weak power. This isn't a strong power. My, my bad. Okay. Um, so anyway, if it's a weak power, it'll only affect torches on the block. And uh, when a redstone torch is powered, it actually turns off. Did you see that? So what this is, is this is a memory cell. Because this half of the memory cell right here, okay, 
this half right here is on, as you can see. And then this half, the other half of the memory cell, is off. So we have a zero state here and a one state here, okay? Um, if I'm incorrect in saying that, please tell me and I'll switch it around, but that's how I know it, so that's what I'm going to teach right now, okay? So, now that... Okay, now that you see that this half is on and this half of this half over here is off, the way that a memory cell works is that if you power one one side of the memory cell, like so, with a button, this will this these uh these two um, halves of the memory cell will actually switch states. Okay, so I'm just gonna put torches on top so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, this half is off, this half is on, but if I power the half that is off, the memory cell switches, okay? Even after the signal runs out, because buttons only, if you didn't know this, I really hope you knew this, buttons only um, power a wire for a couple ticks, okay? It's not a permanent power source, like a switch or a redstone torch, okay? So now that this memory cell is switched, um, well, now you can see that it's switched, okay, when you power a half that's off. So if I ran another wire over here and did this, it would switch the states again, okay? So you're like, Darren, what is the point of this? Why? What does what does this accomplish? Okay, let me show you one of my contraptions really quick, okay? Um, I'm going to end the episode pretty quick here. Uh, this has been kind of uninformative, but we'll go with it. <laughs> This is actually a prototype for a gate, um, a combination door, okay? I decided to do a small model, and um, if you want me to go in detail on it, I will, and explain every portion and how I built it, and maybe even build another one, who knows? Um, it's getting dark out, so I'm going to have to go to bed here pretty soon. Um, so this is a memory cell. This purple wool right here is actually a memory cell, and the reason why memory cells are important is, they, is that they can hold they can hold the signal, okay? They can, uh, they can, sh I'm not explaining this very well, am I? They can, um, output a correct, a correct state, whatever state you want, um, if you activate the memory cell, or how you want to activate the memory cell. So, the reason why memory cells are useful in a combination lock is because when I do the combination, which I believe is 2, 3, 1, um, when I hit this button, this memory cell triggers, okay, so it switches states, and in doing so, it, um, even after the wire here is unpowered, in doing so, it holds the on charge, and it is prepared to accept the next, um, input, okay. Um, without memory cells, there would not be any of those really crazy redstone creations that you see. So if you still don't understand why a memory cell is useful, please tell me, and I'll do another in-depth tutorial on them. But um, for now, I think I'm going to just quit running my mouth. This is a very short episode, and it is meant to be that way. Um, let me just uh, fly over really quick and show you some of these things. Not show you, but just talk about them. So that's, this is a uh, padlock, in other words. This is another padlock, just a different design, a little bit sloppier compared to that one. Um, this was going to be a slime farm design that I hadn't quite finished. Uh, I might actually do that eventually because it seemed like a cool idea. And this, these designs go with the slime farm. And if you're interested, please let me know. This is a uh, elevator right here. This is the working one. This is the broken one. <laughs> That's the rainbow, the moving rainbow. Um, this contraption right here is a item elevator, and it works pretty well. It actually works well with uh, any mob that's one by one block in size. And then uh, this was a prototype sheep farm that I never finished. A sugarcane farm, watermelon farm from a long time ago. Those were the thir first things built in this world. Uh, these pillars are nothing important. Um, this is a chicken farm. And here I was experimenting with different types of uh, uh, pulsers. That's what I was experimenting with. Pulsers. Um, and then this is a heart that I built for my girlfriend and implemented in a world that I play with her on. And there's my logo from the Facebook page if you've ever seen it. Uh, anyway, 
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this episode wasn't too boring. Um, I apologize for not having an actual Minecraft episode up, but uh, this is the best I can do. I'm absolutely exhausted. I have been moving stuff for over 10 hours, and I just got off my 8-hour shift at work. So I think I'm going to go to bed. Um, I'll see you guys next time. I already have videos uploaded for my other series, so just this is the only episode that will be a fluke, honestly. So uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.